Okay, so, um, I didn't wake up ex sick, uh, but a little bit sick, but I feel a lot, I feel better. It's weird. Not full sickness, just a little bit. It's gross. And, uh, I guess I was a little, little hungover, but last night I watched, uh, Mia Goth and Pearl. And I was pretty drunk halfway through it. But, um, man, I guess I'm just still enamored with um, Barbarian. Because as I was watching it, it's really good. But compared to X and Barbarian, man, Pearl is just really sad and depressing and, and just serious. I guess there's a little sprinkles of humor here and there. But, man, Mia, Mia Goth just, she's a loon. She was, her character Pearl is just nuts. And, uh, like, I, I kept hearing how, how good she was, and, and she is great, but no one talks about the actress, I, don't, I can't remember her name, that played her mom. She's really good, too, and I don't know if I was just uh, buzzed. I was thinking that this is her movie too, and about her life and all her, the sacrifices she made to to give pro life and a home and like a bed and all the stuff she tells her. But Pearl just doesn't care. She's just uh, I don't know, a psychopath or a sociopath or whatever she is. And enough is never enough for her, and she's just gonna do what she feels she has to to get what she wants and. Which includes uh, chopping up people. Uh, the the violence didn't go like I thought it would, but it is it's pretty violent and gory and bloody. I do see uh, all the comparisons to to um what's it called? Oh God, I can't remember. Uh, to Dorothy, The Wizard of Oz. Uh, yeah, the movie's really the movie looks great. I can't believe that it, from what little I've gathered, it's like a really small, it's a really small cast and low budget, but it looks great. Ty West, man, he's a great filmmaker. Uh, it's just too serious and morbid for me. It's not, it wasn't that much fun. I, I I would watch it again though, just mostly because I was pretty buzzed and I, I wanted. I know there's some stuff that I missed, and got it from the library, which is great. And there's this thing where you can um, request a movie and I requested it and I was like uh, there's like 20 copies so they're all checked out but I was like 50th in line so it was going to take a while but then I went and it was right there on the rack so I just grabbed it um, yeah and then her monologue is really good but I bet uh, Mia's not going to get any recognition from this. I mean, hopefully she will. Because <coughs> she's so good in it. Uh, and then... Uh, at the end, it ends with her, like, giving a creepy smile that lasts so long, and it... It, it kind of was like, okay, cut. Stop. Stop it. It's like, okay, it's freeze frame. And they, they never do... It just goes like a little circle and, and gets smaller and smaller on her face. And that, uh, at first it was... Man, this is this is Pearl, and then I was like, okay, this is getting kind of dumb, and then I was like, man, she's a she's a real nutcase. <sighs> Compared to X, I guess it's a. I mean, it is a prequel, but you don't have to see this. You don't have to see either to enjoy either. Both are good on standalone. I would say I enjoyed X a little more. Just, I just don't enjoy the super serious stuff anymore. I want like crazy gore and, and monsters and like bad characters. I mean, like funny bad characters. Like Galaxy Invader, just check out Galaxy Invader. That's the kind of movies that I really enjoy now. <laughs> like I'll watch Galaxy Invader more times than I'll ever watch Pearl, I'm sure. It's weird, I just don't... Uh, and like I gotta stop myself from putting 
stuff like Galaxy Invader on, so I don't get tired of it, or Lady Terminator, or, um, anyway, um, so yeah, it's like set in 1918, Pearl wants to become a star, um, there is, like, there's some violent stuff, at the very end, there's, like, a beheading and, and limb chopping, and I was like, whoa, it looked, it's, it's real clean, but it just looks so real, and it, it was shocking and jarring, so, um, Pearl, if you haven't seen it, rush to your local library, or, if I didn't get stuff from the library like this, I think I'd buy it. Ten bucks, sure, I would buy it, and I would watch it again, and maybe give it away to someone who hasn't seen it. Not because it's I don't want to keep it, but I want to share stuff now. And man, Mia Goth, she, she makes herself, I mean, she's not afraid to look terrible, ugly, scared, horrible. And yeah, she, she carries the whole movie. So, if you just haven't seen it yet, I got pearls.